How do you know if you're doing a good job as a tester? It's not just about number of test cases written, for example, but here are some ideas of things to consider. I recently took part in Test Bash World's Ask Me Anything About Testing session. And one of the questions I was asked was, I talked to a developer who said he did not like testing because it is hard to say when you are doing a good job. How do you know if you are doing a good job? To answer this question, I'm going to talk about my experience and not uh, try to generalize it upon others. As a tester, I know that I'm doing a good job if one, people go to me and say I'm doing a good job, they give me direct feedback. That doesn't happen often. People um, don't really go out of their way to say things to people when it comes to feedback. Um, but that, that's probably the most obvious one. Two, when people come to me and ask me for advice on how to test something or when they're about to start coding something or they want a sneak peek and they want to show me this is what I'm thinking of doing, what are your thoughts? By that point, I have proven myself to be of value to the team. And when it comes to testing and quality, they, I have shown that my opinion has some value to them. Three, confidence around releases. So I've noticed that if I'm in a team for a bit longer and I've proven myself to them, there isn't as much anxiety around releases because there's some sort of peace of mind that we believe that our tester has tested this well and we have a good idea of what's to come when we go live with this. When it comes to knowing if I'm doing a good job, I used to place some importance on metrics. That is number of bugs found, a number of test cases written and executed and so on. The thing is, I feel that I don't have as much control over these metrics so I don't want to be measured by them. Let's start with number of bugs found. This is directly tied to how well the requirements or user stories are written as well as uh, the developer. Some developers tend to write more bugs than others so there's more to find in their code. Uh, but my biggest argument against that is I see a lot of value in preventing bugs. So if I'm making sure I add value by being involved in discussions early and preventing bugs from reaching in the first place, then I'm preventing my future self from finding these bugs. And then I would be hurting my metrics in that regard. The second issue I have with certain metrics, for example, say test cases written and executed, is you adapt your behavior to make those metrics look good. In a past project, we were being measured in that way. This was... Um, this is like about a year or so into my career. And what happened is we, there were like six or seven of us testers and we were able to divvy up the work ourselves to, on who will test what and who will write test cases for what, so on. And we found ourselves trying to race towards those areas that were easier to write tests for. Uh, because then you could write 20 test cases quite quickly and then that same amount of time would then be dedicated to another area covered with say only three test cases but that tester wouldn't look as good. Same thing with test cases executed. Some test cases took three minutes or like very you know, a few minutes. Others had a bunch of setup needed so they were like you know 20 minutes or so. This wasn't encouraging great behavior it was just getting us to try and make our metrics look good when it comes to knowing if you're doing a good job i suggest looking at other ways of measuring things um, hopefully my experience gives you some ideas as to what to look at if you're trying to figure out if you're doing a good job as a tester <laughs>